Hello friends, welcome to program with Akshay and in today's demo we will see how to containerize .NET Core 7 web API using Docker. So before starting the demo, there are prerequisites. We need VS 2022, we need .NET Core 7.0 and we need an AWS account. Okay. Why do we need an AWS account? Basically to host the application on AWS EC2 instance. Okay. So what is Docker basically? So Docker is an open source platform that enables developer to build, run and deploy applications quickly. Okay. Why we should use Docker? Okay. In tech world, you have heard of the phase that it works on machines. Generally developers do say that and it mostly happened because of the different libraries configuration and dependencies required okay so managing these applications these dependencies this configuration is a crucial task for the devops team and the docker has all the capabilities to handle this kind of problem okay so docker basically helps us to build and deploy distributed applications quickly microservices applications quickly it helps the continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline which saves a lot of time so basically docker uses a container as a unit of software and that package that packages application code with all the dependencies so that applications can run quickly in an isolated environment so there are benefits of docker okay so the benefits of docker are like application portability scalability isolation so basically in isolation the containers can run in different different isolated environment with all the dependencies and configuration scalability is nothing but like docker can scale because of its ability to increase and decrease the number of application instances depending upon the different different environment like in dev environment we need to have only a certain kind of scalability or in production we need to have certain kind of scalability so Docker provides that kind of a scalability uh, benefits. Application portability. Docker is a container platform that allows running on containers on a various physical machines, virtual machines or any other cloud provider in less time without any modification. So these are the benefits of Docker. Obviously, there is a faster delivery and deployment. So there are various benefits of Docker. So we will start with the practical demo. So what will be the flow of today's demo? So we will create a .NET Core Web API. Okay. So we will create a .NET Core Web API. We will push that code in our GitHub repository. Okay. And we will mark this repository as public. And after pushing the repository, we will create an AWS EC2 instance. And we will expose the port 80. And after exposing the port, the URL of the sample Web API should get displayed. Okay. So this is the workflow where we will create the .NET Core Web API. We will push that code to GitHub repository and we will clone that GitHub repository on AWS EC2 instance. Obviously, we are going to create a new AWS EC2 instance. In this case, we will create an Ubuntu image. Okay. And we will expose the port 80 and the URL should get displayed. Okay. So let's begin with the demo. So I have the Visual Studio up and running. We will create a new project and we will create a ASP.NET Core Web API project. Click on next. We will say hello real world API. Okay. Click on next. Okay. Click on next. We should select .NET 7 standard term support the newest version click on create and this will create the our application so let's wait for a minute yeah so there you go we have our sample web api application running so this is the sample web api where we are having program.cs the weather forecast properties and the controller weather forecast controller okay so we are not going to do anything right now here so we just create a new docker file here we will create a new add item and we will name it as docker file okay so as in the previous video i have demonstrated how to create a docker file same way we are going to create a new docker file so to speed up things i have already created the script for the docker file and we will paste our project name here 
hello real world api now we will push this our changes to a github repository now we will create a new github repository and we will name it as hello real fold api and we will keep it as public and create and push the repository so this will push the repository to github okay so the two steps are done the first step was creating a sample core web api that is done creating the repository and pushing the code to repository that is done now the third thing we will create an aws ec2 instance to create an aws ec2 instance we will go to aws account and inside the aws account we will go to ec2 and inside ec2 we will create a new virtual machine or create a new ec2 instance we will simply say launch instance hello world api and we will select an ubuntu image and we will select the free tire instance type we will select the key value pair here in my case is aws cli allow https internet from the internet internet and http launch instance and this will launch the instance so let's wait for a minute So we have instance is pending to be initiated. Yes, so our instance is up and running. So let's try to connect our instance. So we will connect our instance via EC2 instance connect. You can use SSH to connect your instance also. So after connecting the instance, we will try to update our machine or update our server. So the command to update the server is sudo apt hyphen get update so this will update the system what i'm missing yeah sudo apt the spelling is mistake yep so this will update our server so after updating the server we will install the docker packages so we will wait for a minute here to update the server here yeah so the update is done now we will install the docker packages here so the command is sudo apt install docker.io yes so this will install the docker packages on our server and it will create a new user called as docker and we will give the necessary permissions to that user so let's wait for a minute again it will install the docker and after installing the docker we will run the command something called as sudo user mod hyphen a g the username is docker and we are done and we will reboot our instance so let's wait for a minute to reboot our instance so our instance is up and running and we will create a new pro directory called as projects and inside our projects we will try to clone our repository github repository so this is the github repository and inside the github repository we have something called as hello real world api and we will try to clone our repository so this will clone the repository once you do the ls we will have the folder called as hello world hello real world api inside that we will have the project folder and inside that we will have our docker file so we will try to build the docker file so the command to build the docker file is docker build hyphen t we will give a name dot dot is nothing but 
to build that image in the current directory so this will build the docker file in the current directory and this will build the image you can push this image to the docker hub or you, you can you have if you have a docker login you can push that the image to the docker after building the image we will try to run the image let's wait for a minute it is building the image yep so to run the image we have something command called as docker run hyphen d it's hyphen d nothing but to run the docker image in the daemon mode hyphen p and we have something called as port mapping called as 8080 to map the port we are going to use 8080 to give the name of that image we will use hyphen api hyphen container and the image name so we are able to run the docker image inside a container to view the container we have command called as docker ps and the container is up and running okay now we will go to ec2 our instances and we try to navigate the public ip we can have like swagger slash index dot html so right now the page is not being displayed so we will go to ec2 instance image again we will go to security groups and inside the security groups we will try to update the inbound rules and inside the inbound rules we will try to delete these and we will try to add new custom stcp and we will put the port as 80 from any cider blocks and we will try to save the rules and after saving the rules we will try to refresh the page yes so after editing the security groups i have rebooted my ec2 instance so let's go to public ip and navigate to the public ip on swagger index.html so yeah our api is up and running let's test the api execute and we are able to return status code as 200 and we are able to fetch the data from the api so with this we have so yes we have achieved all the objectives here let me take a pen here where we have created the web api where we have pushed the code to github and we have created ec2 instance where we exposed 8080 port and we have launched the url so we have achieved all the objectives in the upcoming videos we will create more action methods like get put post and delete okay and we will use that api we will use the same application and we will containerize using docker okay here we will have something called as orchestration using kubernetes so in the upcoming video we will see kubernetes using docker so thank you for watching today's video have a good day bye bye